Yo, hold on. Does it actually, is it actually writing me the code right now? Did this just accidentally work? Inseam measurement. Yo, it knows inseams? Oh, yo, those are actually kind of the basic measurements we need to make pants. Clothes are made by sewing together a whole bunch of pattern pieces. Now, making those pattern pieces is whew, too much work. But good news, um, the saints over in Silicon Valley have promised us that AI is going to take all their jobs and well, I guess that means it can also make our patterns for us. I'm going to start off with what I know, Adobe Illustrator. What do we want? We want all the pattern pieces, I before E except after C, so a pair of pants. We're generating. Okay, those are pants. We got buttons, okay, we got buttons. I don't know how much that's needed for the pattern, just something random in the bottom there. You know what, here's the thing. I've played around with it a little bit and what I realized is we got to, um, play around with the wording we use to kind of dial it in a little bit. Technical drawings. Technical drawing used to sew pants. Okay, I guess technical meant just putting in more lines. And now we got overalls with the shirt. We're gonna need to revise our strategy here. Uh, I've just found this little button here. Style picker, extract style from a reference image or artwork. I found a pants pattern image, nice high res. Let's use that as the sample. Huh. It basically took all these other different style of pants here and just made it black and white. And it's predominantly black and less white, which is the polar opposite of the sample I just showed it. I even refined my, uh, my phrase here, which is black and white line drawing of a pant pattern used to sew pants. I think I got to ditch Adobe Illustrator. Let's go to their online option, Adobe Firefly, which uh, has more options in terms of refinement. Okay, let me try that same prompt one more time. Uh, whatever the <laughs> pants on the left here is. Ooh, we're seeing the boxes underneath of a very tattooed individual with what I would describe as chaps, themes. I just want line art. Ooh, wireframe. Okay, good, 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 good wireframe. Bold lines, yes, maybe not. Line drawing, here we go, here we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. All right, they're pants that are line drawings. I think I need to be fair. This is for image generation. Uh, it isn't very technical. Let me see if I can find a program that has AI generation that's technical, like an AutoCAD type of thing. I've refined my search to AI pattern drafting software and, well, look at that. Seems, uh, can AI create sewing patterns? We've got the same question. Can, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, that's a very different pattern. That is, that's graphic patterns to put on the fabric. Design and launch basic fashion in minutes with modular design libraries and AI pattern grading. Well, that's, the AI, that's, that's different. The pattern grading is done by AI, but also yeah, it's a bit of a loose use of the term AI, I would say. I want a regular placket. This is just like pick your own adventure. This is, how is this? I think we can officially qualify this as not being AI generated. There's an AI for that. Fashion design, eyewear.art. Uh, platform generating unique artwork for custom apparel. Okay, that's graphics on t-shirts. No, thank you. Custom clothing, one sewn. Uh, to describe your ideal t-shirt hit done. We're making graphics for t-shirts again. Start designing picture on a t-shirt. All right, oh, I don't even need to visit that one. Dreamweaver, look at that. Picture on a t-shirt. Design the future of fashion. Join the movement. Oh, yeah, please. Uh, an Oxford, please, collar type. Band collar. Is this the same thing again? 1800s inspired formal shirt. Doesn't look very 1800s, I'll say that. Oh, by the way, no, um, no belt loop of any sort. By the way, I said band collar. That's not a band collar. Sad looking man, sad looking man. 
Now I'm on uh, The New Black. I typed in 1800s futuristic men's fashion. Surprisingly on point, uh, the image as a whole, I think makes a bit more sense than the other one. Itty bitty detail, you could miss it. Um, white lady, fine. Um, black hand. What do I know? Just a cowboy hat wearing, man looking to get computers to make his patterns. <laughs> okay, fun little detail on the website here, most impacted jobs. Uh, fashion designers, 100% impact. Folks, you are <laughs> screwed. Me, pattern maker, 90% impact. Not too concerned yet, I'll be honest, based on what I've been experiencing so far. You know? Sometimes, when things don't work out, you just gotta do it for yourself, right? So, let's head on over to ChatGPT. Write me a, write a JavaScript program that generates a, an SVG graphic. Pant pattern graphic that can be adjusted based on uh, measurement inputs. Measurement in inputs. SVG graphics are scalable vector graphics. They're basically what's in Illustrator. It allows you to do the line art that can have then be adjusted and morphed without losing anything the way a JPEG image does or something like that. That's an image, an SVG graphic is a scalable vector graphic that can go to any size. I hope that makes sense. Oh, look at that, it's writing me a whole... Yo, hold on, does it actually... Is it actually writing me the code right now? Because it's giving me left leg, right leg, hip area, waistband. Hold on, hold on, did... Did this just accidentally work? Have I, am I, is my job actually at a 90% risk? Let's find out here. Let's run the program. Waist measurement, uh, about 32. Hip measurement, that's about 36. Inseam measurement. Yo, it knows inseams? Oh, yo, those are actually kind of the basic measurements we need to make pants. Uh, what's my inseam? I think it was like 32 as well. Generate pet. Huh. At this point, the AI bots had enough of me slagging them off and uh, cut my mic, as uh, evidenced right there, and uh, well, real quick, um, before they come for me, I, I just released my introduction to pattern drafting course. And um, if you want to get it, it's at that. It's available at that URL right there. This week, you get 20% off. If you're from the future, I have a bunch of courses at that URL.